Hey everybody, Nick Blazier back here with another round of the Slavia Open. I managed to make it through the first round, got a bye in the first first round, and also won my second match, and waiting for my opponent to show up in the match here. Now it's uh, Aleko, Aleko, I don't know, I haven't met him before. What is it, Manashvili? Ooh, that sounds Georgian. So I'm probably getting to play a Georgian flag, we'll see if that's what shows up. I think the 1913 there is uh, Bojo. <laughs> the guy running this tournament that does all the street and team stuff. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. I think we're playing a 21 point match here. Nice long one, too. So, yeah. Without further ado, this is currently, I think, my fourth match in the queue that I need to make videos out of. So, when I'm recording this April 7th. We'll see when it actually comes out. But I'm way behind <laughs> trying to catch up with work life and things like that. All right. But yeah, so I don't know much about this opponent at all. We'll see how he plays and everything like that. I have a feeling that like not keeping up on studying my matches is potentially affecting my player. Maybe it's just in my head. I my last two matches were not that great, you know, like uh kind of high end of my range, I think. Maybe one of them was an 8 if I remember right or something like that. The last one I know is like a little over a 6. I looked at it, but uh yeah, so I'm kind of curious if it's just cuz I haven't been studying my matches or had as much time to do that or I don't know if that's just how it goes sometimes I have bad matches you know um, okay where am I here I'm gonna be down on the race still so contact will be good I don't know if it's worth enough to make the deuce point I guess my play B is probably 18 and 9 for a builder um, maybe I'd just rather have the point though I don't know this feels weird I, th I don't know Got to work on my board somehow, um, and I don't really want to leave fly shots in the outfield and be, like, unprepared to hit if he leaves more shots. So I feel like I want to start getting something ready. Um, okay. Here, I mean, I really like the four down for Builder. I don't want to stack it up on the eight necessarily. Slotting feels like a bit of an overplay. It could allow him to escape with tempo. Um, but maybe the upside's kind of good here. And, I like, my other aces just feel so bad that I'm kind of tempted to do that. I'm down in the race anyway, but not by that much. And I will be significantly down in the race if I do that. So, whew, this is very confusing. Um, am I missing anything else? I don't want to tempo on the ace. I'm not going to do that against a weak board and it just, like, only eight in the zone, all these things. Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll go for the slot. It's kind of hard to hit back in scenarios like this. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll just stay back and bring a checker down instead of giving him somewhere to hit in the outfield, and then I have an opportunity to make this point. Do I want to do that, though? I already have my anchor, so maybe not. I kind of hop out to a safe double shot anyway, though. Yeah, I think I just want to create covers for my board points right now and work on my board, um, so I'm not really slotting this to try to make it. I just It's not the checker that I want to get into play at the moment. Um... I guess I don't really want to be attacked anymore. I don't think there's huge value in being split back here, but this is looking pretty ugly. Like, I mean, it's almost like a back game, but of course it's too spread out to be a back game. So am I going to have timing to do this? I could go up and make the 22. Do I need to do that? I feel like, again, like I already have the anchor that I want, and I don't really want to open up into that. I think I have time to play off the midpoint and give that up before I have to give up either, either of these other points too. So I think I'm sticking with this plan for now, but I might be overextending myself for sure. And my contact feels good. My board feels good that I want to play this. Um, but I'm really not completely sure either. Like it's not, I don't think I've played a whole lot of games where I have like what feels like a viable game with the bar point and the ace point made like this. Uh, we'll see if I can hang on to it. But it's really like, in this game, I don't need the midpoint. So I feel like I have a ton of timing to just hold status quo in this position. Um, I don't think there's any like use, really, to leaving an extra checker up here. So I'm just going to play the safe way. Wait for my shot to come. Yeah, it kind of feels like, like I have a pretty decent bar point game. And like when it goes to... When it goes poorly, then I still have an ace point game, too. So it feels like I have a lot of ways to win here. Okay, he fans, am I winning already? I still have a lot of work to do to come around. I feel like I probably lose my market if I make the three point. But if I don't, maybe not by that much either. It's going to be a lot of gammon threat too. Um, 
This feels like I should probably just get the back guy moving. I don't think I really want contact here at this point. Yeah, so after this sequence, I mean, it feels like I'm doing well. Maybe I'm, like, leading, but I don't feel like I have a cube anymore. So still, like, a little too easy for him to just pop out and escape. Okay, I can point on his head. Or I can get these guys moving. Okay, so this feels like it makes sense, but I am probably have pretty, like, a 5-1 is a disaster now. No, it's not too bad. Okay. Uh, sixes just don't play if they're bad, so maybe that's okay. Aces... Okay, double ones. Yeah, like this is probably fine. If he enters with a 3x, then I'm really sad. Um, but the race is close, so I'm probably okay. And it keeps him from just running with the 6. So if I do something like this, then he might have to... I mean, he's going to run to me a lot of the time anyway. I don't get the benefit of him potentially fanning. I'm not really happy when he gets to play the role either. He's just getting to move pips. Um, is my follow-up easier when I do this, though? So if I come down to here, then I give up 6-4 entirely. So I think I want to stay there and give up the 9 if I do, but then he can park with the... Can't do that either. Okay, so maybe I just want to give up the 18 entirely. This is probably like the no attack play. Control the outfield this way and just let him play around. This feels like a little while till I'm like really winning this game. So if I do this and he fans... I think it's a bit scary to take this cube. Close race. Yeah, yeah, this just feels like it's kind of making a more dramatic improvement. So let's try this out. And I think after I looked through it, it didn't seem like I actually had anything too bad here either. It felt like maybe my movement was going to be restricted, so like 4, 2, 5, 1 kind of stuff. But I have just enough room to move it over there. So, okay. Glad with how that worked out. 19 away, 21 away. I've spent a bunch of clock time already on that. <laughs> have to be careful about that. Maybe I've just been playing poorly because I've had like complicated games. Is this tempo worth it? I mean, it just feels like everything else I'm going to do is going to leave a ton of fly shots anyway. He's got good buildings. So I think I want to do this with a better board. A little weird to hit so deep though. 4-3 gets to anchor here, but maybe he'd be doing something offensively or I don't know. 4-2 uh, does not get to make an anchor of my own. It can cover. I think that's worth doing. And then I don't really think I need to do anything with the front there, so I'll let him come try to find a fly shot, get a checker in the in the zone here. This probably just makes the three. I would like an anchor to combat his anchor. That works out pretty well. I'm slightly ahead in the race. Not really, though. This is pretty much anyone's game, I think. Maybe I'm a little worse off because I have more checkers buried behind. Like, maybe the better board actually isn't very good here. Um, in this scenario, it can be because I'm, like, more willing to hit and happy to get into that like exchange of hits kind of scrap. I'll get one to safety. Yeah, he's got this really poorly placed checker here too. So this feels like a pretty good game to me now. Um, but he does still have the four point with my gapped five, so I, I don't think I ever have too much in this game. Uh, I guess I can play to the six. I could play two down, or I could play out with the five. Why do I want to do that? This feels like the best building potential. It's a little weird looking though, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I get attacked for staying back, but I was going to get hit with a 4 anyway out there. He's got a 4 point board now. I get to enter though, and there's no hit. I guess I don't really want to pop out to being attacked out here, so I'm going to ruin my distribution a little bit instead. Not much for him to do, but volunteer shots I suppose, yeah. 6-2. I don't think I'm going to have a 6 I like, so I might as well try to escape. He's attacking here anyway. And I am still ahead in the race if I get away with this, but 6-4 and 2 is okay. I think I'm still playing okay when I get hit 2 because of that open 5, but uh, in a single checker back game, like having this, this way to enter high is worth quite a bit. Otherwise, it's very difficult to to play out when you're down in the race at all and have a worse board and all this stuff. I am feeling the danger for sure. He's not really slowing down to think about the cube yet. I'm. If he was, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> Maybe I would still feel like I have to take.
All right. So this is fives and twos. If I come up to here, it's fives, threes, and ones. So maybe it's a little safer to stay back. I have to bury a checker to do that, though. Um, but this is where he wants to attack me. Ugh. I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is not pleasant. If he misses, then I'm still... Well, even if he... So five three five one three one, all pretty devastating. Loose hits and I miss. I mean, I'm gonna get a third of those back though. Then if he just misses entirely, like I'm looking pretty okay in this game, right? It feels like I have to play this. Oh, he can. I didn't think of like a lot of hit and lift kind of numbers. Maybe he's actually supposed to. I don't know. Um, okay, now it's probably less shots if I pop out, and I don't want to do a destructive thing with the six anyway. Uh, oh, I'm just losing the race now. There's a little bit of contact, though. Will I stay back there? Uh, I will, because I can't safety it anyway. <laughs> this is an interesting... Okay, I've got like a decent board here. And I have to keep thinking about whether or not I want to risk the 8. The, it's, it's quite a bit to give up. So, and when the 8 happens, I'm going to lose some gammons. But he's got the ace in there now, so maybe maybe it's worth it now. Uh, what do I want to give up? I don't really want to give up extra contact from here, I guess. So yeah, maybe, I mean, here's the plan for maximum contacts play to me, but this looks a little weird to dump the checker to the deuce. So maybe it's just better to do this, and if he runs with like a 6-1 kind of 7, then I'm happy with my double shot, and it's going to duplicate aces anyway and all this stuff, okay. Good reason. 6-2 would hit me. 6-3 gets passed. Uh, everything else doesn't have to. Okay. I think this is probably the way to go. I'm really sad on 6-5, six, 6-4, five, six, four, five, four. Because then I would be getting a double shot, right? I need to play for that. Yeah, that is a lot of numbers. So how much am I gaining by keeping this point? Now when he runs with like six ones, like... Okay, I'm still going to get like the extra contact here a lot of the times anyway, I think. This is starting to feel like the right way to do it. Um, okay, let's do this. I spend a lot of pips here, too. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about this one. Okay, I risk the gammon, but I could roll an ace and just be doing great in this game, too. Yeah, so the 5-3 that hit there... Um, he was probably going to, I mean, it was going to go a lot better if I stayed, that's for sure. But how much do I have here to 5 and 14 is 19. Maybe I'm not a favorite to lose a gammon yet. 12, 16, yeah, it probably should be around like 40% or something like that. Yep, just entering quickly would be good. Okay, well, this allows me some chances to win, but when I don't hit, then I lose a gammon. Uh, but I hit, so that's pretty good. He's got seven off. Oh, nice shot there. Uh, okay, there we go. We got our six prime. Oops. I got to do the rest of it too, huh? Okay. Yeah, I guess I kind of want to be recirculated and, like, let's pick up some other checkers. So leaving that there for a little bit seems kind of nice. Um, but otherwise, if I get to the seven checker place, seven off, I need a few more, few off before I can recube them. Looks like I'm going to have to close it. Like this? This looks really bad. Is there anything else? I'm not going to like pre-clear or something, so I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. That is going to delay the cube significantly, I think. Let's play like that and hope to take some off the three point, maybe. Ugh. Well, I think I need to be peeling here. I'm not sure if that really got me any closer, though. That's tempting. Four, two, and six. And when I missed, how much better am I doing? 
The extra checker off feels worth quite a bit here. But if he just enters with a six, I'm doing really long. I don't know, I still have the better board too. Well, this feels confusing now. So the four off, usually this would be a nice double pass kind of position, but I've got the gaps. I'm not that likely to take checkers off. So it could still be a cube, but it should be like a more comfortable take than usual. Sure, let's ship it. Let's have fun. I think I have a lot of market loss and decent numbers in like rolls like this, I guess, you know, where I just get to three, two, one kind of combos, get to just take a checker off. This is looking good. Okay, it's not looking good anymore. Now, he is on the lead roll in a three roll position. This is just a dead drop. Okay, so four points for you. <laughs> All right. 19 away, 17 away. All right. And I think we'll make the board point with him having one on the roof. Other plays available. He gets to anchor up. That's a pretty nice response. What am I trying to do? I like making that. I don't mind leaving the shot if he wants to try to run off against a three-point board. So I think I'll just leave this purely placed as a builder. Now it's a little scarier, but hopefully I picked up some valuable fly shots. Not really. I get to anchor. That's good. And then sixes, fours. I guess I have a little more contact when he hits me here. And sixes probably tend to play poorly, so this is at least a little confusing for him. I guess he can hit and clean up, but I don't know that it looks that much better than just making the bar point. This seems like it must be a lot of returns. Yeah, that's one of them. All right, a fan's going to be looking pretty good. No such luck, but this might still be good enough too. So I have sevens and some nines sit out here. I have twos. I'm ahead in the race. I do have three checkers back, but I have a better board too. Maybe I want to claim after this if I get one of my lucky rolls. Maybe I don't lose my market by that much, and maybe I'm in a bit of trouble when I don't lose my market. Yeah, I don't know. Two. And I guess that just gives a six from the bar. But what other six do I have? Everything kind of like slots, basically. I guess that makes sense for what I missed. It's a nice place to be. Threes doesn't do a whole lot for him. This is looking like a lot of pressure, but he's got a good board, too. I mean, if I point on his head and he fans, then I think I've lost his market, my market here, right? Maybe again, maybe not by that much, though. And when I don't, I'm under a lot of pressure to clean up and stuff. So still not sure if I have a cube here. Like he's just got so much play with my three checkers back, I think. Uh, and I don't know how to play this. I should just make the five, right? <laughs> Leave everything to hit. Um, well, this makes a prime. Only six is hit. Two, four, four, four. That's got to be it. I think it just consolidates blocks, makes a good point, all these things. Three, one, can't do anything about the back checkers. I still have this open five and a lot of inflexibility, so I'm still not really feeling like I have a cube. Uh, five, six. I guess that's going to attack. I don't really want the eight anymore. This could be good enough if he fans. Yeah, and so I think I have enough work to do that I'm not, like, never going to be too good or something like that, too. I doubt that he wants to take that position, but, yeah, okay. 18 away, 17 away. I don't really want to be split against this structure anymore. 
Uh, he's just brought two extra checkers in and made a board point. And I think with the stackiness of this, this is probably still more of an attacking position than a priming position, even though he's made a really strong priming point. It should be difficult for him to like develop into that kind of position. Okay, that has to be part of it, but that means I'm going to leave like this ace three double shot. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. He's probably just going to clean up. I'm only slightly ahead in the race, so I've got to do a little bit of work to put some real pressure on that back checker, like in my position, though. Oh, he wants to leave the shot. I might be willing to take that. 4-3 could also be better to just point on his head and not leave a bunch of returns with the, with the weaker board. This is still a lot of returns. I don't know. But at least I have my anchor. Four, six, not great. Can it possibly make sense to pop out to the outfield? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I guess I'm like so happy when I get the chance to to attack here that that could be a problem with it. Uh, okay, so I can just make the five point, or I can make the bar point and hit loose. Fours are duplicated with cover numbers, and I'm going to leave a direct shot with an ace when I make the five point anyway. And I kind of give him like full freedom. It just feels like weirdly, I don't know. Should be weak in comparison to just making the five, but I kind of feel like I have to do this. Two, and I guess the five just wants to clean up and doesn't want to be attacked back there anymore. Close enough in the race that I can just start to quiet down now. All right, aces and eights to hit. There we go. And he's got a bunch of plots here, so indirects aren't very scary. We'll find out if they're scary. They were not scary. 4-1. Yeah, we'll go for some distribution. Things are shaping up and he fanned for me. If I make another board point, is that enough to just win this? I still, again, three back. Hitting another checker is a lot. I think I need like a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more. 4-1, nothing to do with the back checkers, really. This is really not a good roll. Ugh. I guess I'm just, like, cleaning up like this. Ew. I had such great distribution, and it didn't do anything, and now it's all gone. All right. Four probably enters and covers. Yep. Got a lot less than last time. The 5-3 does not reach there. It can hit loose if I wanted to. I'm ahead in the race, so I'd kind of rather not, but I have to run to a double shot anyway. Fours and fives. There's a little bit of duplication when I play like this, too. Maybe that's the idea. I like it. Two, three misses. I get away with it. Yeah, unpriming himself seems like it makes sense. Could easily have a lot of points in a row there, quickly. 4-2. Could cover and hit. And I'm going to be leaving a bunch of shots in the outfield regardless anyway. So if I come to here, it's only fives, though. Okay, let's think about that real quick. So if I do this, this is fives, fives. So 2-3, two, 1-4, four, 2-4. Two, four. Also hit 2-6. There's a few more shots, but there's obvious like some obvious upside of getting away with this. Um, so the other play is going to be like this. And when I get away with this, then I still have to escape the bar point somehow to cash in on a winning race and it just feels like forever. So I'm going to be in the lead in this one. Hmm. All right, let's do this. All right, sometimes I get double hit. He might be too good. <laughs> that can happen. This looks pretty bad. Yeah, I think I'll pass this. All right, we're slotting to start. 18 away, 16 away. I'm going to pay attention to that clock. It's a long match left. And a lot of clock spent already. Should I split against this? Yeah, let's go major split. Even though he's brought an extra in the zone. 
All right, he's got a lot of pips and freedom. Uh, I kind of want to make the nine, but then what do I do with the rest of it? Maybe I should make the the this instead, the rack. Should I like clean up and step up? How about like this? Looks a little weird, but feels like I want an outfield plane or something like this, but I feel like this is pretty strong. I don't know. And I feel like I'm getting a little like overrun when I make the nine point along with it or something like that, so. Hmm. How am I doing on the cube action here too? I've got position and not a lot of threats though. Seems like a reasonable cube already. But I think I'll take a roll. This feels like a pretty big improvement to have like equalized that small advantage he had too. The thing is, if I escape that last checker and he's sitting back there in a close race with one, it's still not clear to me that he has a pa like a pass. It's getting close for sure. So I think that I want to roll this for now. And attacking with the better board seems called for. He fans, and yeah, this should be plenty now. Maybe he has to let it go, but I still, I mean, pretty nice sequence to lose hit and not, you know, get a fan out of it. I do still have work to do to cover that and escape the back checker. So he's got counterplay. Maybe he's like reasonably thinking about playing this anyway. Wouldn't fault it. Just too often, like, you could end up with a four-point board on the roof, you know. That's not too pleasurable. Uh, I guess I don't need to leave the 2-6. I could pop out. Don't need to leave the 2-4. I'll just let him loose hit me in the board. Yeah, so I guess he's going to try to make a run for it. No, he can just play down too. But I'm very happy to loose hit with, like, 9s and 4s and everything. Um, 6-1, I guess I don't want to let him point on me if he gets a nice, like, roll to use all these checkers. So I think I kind of need to pop out to the outfield and distract a little bit. This is not going too poorly for him though. The race is very close. He's got a better board than he did before at least. Um, so I think it's pretty important to hit him and not just let him escape here. We got to stop the progress now. Uh, five, two, no cover, but I get to bring one in range now. And now I'm threatening a lot of gammons. I still can't cover though. Okay. Just need him to keep missing, and then I'll be fine. Just entering and getting to move his checkers around, though, is going to help save a lot of gammons. Like, this is another two pips of potential movement after the closeout that he won't have to deal with anymore. And a crossover. So, like, a 4 one, five one would be really nice for me here. Yeah, I don't care about making the points in order. I just want to delay his movement. Hmm. So he didn't use the four the way I thought he would. I think I still want to attack. I think I'm going to lose too many gammons when I don't, and he's got blots on board anyway. So I can maybe win more gammons when he does hit. Now I guess most of his numbers should cover one of those. But okay, things are looking nice. One, two, three, four, sixes play nicely from there. And three and two, my six, five. Yeah, it plays nice still. Once I start to get closer, I think we like to spread that out a little bit. Um, I think this is the preferred way when you have the 6-5 distribution. You just put the checker anywhere down here and delay a roll. Tends to take the most off that way. Uh, 14, 15, 16 outside. Probably means I need to play aggressively for a gammon if I get opportunities to think about that. Didn't really, though. That, I think, is likely enough to save it. And that'll definitely be enough. So I'm probably just even in the match out at 16 aways. Oh, two sets away from going into Gammon, though. It could happen. So funny. It makes me feel like 
long matches are like pointless a lot of times. <laughs> it's just like so often they just reduce to like we played for however long we did, 30 minutes, and we're at a 16 point match instead. I don't know. Of course, it doesn't like have to go that way, but I don't know. Seems like it does a lot of the time. <laughs> But it's an opportunity to gain some sort of advantage through additional play. So, okay. I think we need to go like this. Guess I leave a couple shots. And this seems like probably too much pressure to even play. I'm just attacking so often. And even if I don't for some reason, I can just like cover this and win the race too. Like, so when it doesn't turn into a gammonish blitz, like I just have a huge advantage too. But on the counter side of that, I have all my, like, only nine in the zone. Like, I don't have enough material to really threaten a big attack this roll necessarily. It's just hard to see what he's, like, really hoping for if he plays that, you know. Hoping to anchor up and have the worst of it that way. <laughs> okay, I get hit. I'm looking to hit on the high points again. Uh, ooh. Well, with more checkers back, maybe I'm supposed to anchor, but I'm going to stay on the gas. It's not how I prefer to play. I should get, like, I mean, even if I get hit, I should get some opportunities here. I mean, the real bad ones are like 5-2, five, 5-4, five, five, five. But faded those, and I feel happy. Uh, hmm. I guess I have to make both points, kind of, obviously. Okay. Though I would have liked to hit. Not so important to take him off the three points, all that. I would have liked to slow his movement, though. So he can't cover it. He can make the five point. Okay. My twos are well duplicated. But, of course, I like that one better. And we'll see if he can come out with the 21 point as well. Okay, he does. So fairly even game. Uh, he's ahead in the race, but his like position looks a little more stiff than mine. Which comes along with being ahead in the race. So, yeah. Only slightly. I think he would have loved to run the back checker with that roll. No such luck, though. Maybe, I guess he doesn't need to save himself a six then. Um, I should have pretty free reign to play loose here now, right? I mean, I could make the deuce as well, but I think I want this eight. It should be hard for him to hit without leaving a shot and board and need mobility here. So the boards are pretty equal. So like maybe it's worth hitting and covering the deuce, but I don't know for sure. Could just make the nice board. If he does, then I'll get threes back, some entering aces, and some entering sixes. Ace, six, four, six. Ace, ace, four, ace. Okay. Yeah. I could go either way on that one. It's not clear to me. It's not so many shots, and it's not like he's in terrible shape when he gets hit either, so maybe it's worth trying to go for the knockout blow. Um, he's ahead in the race and really lacking in mobility. This could be... It feels like for those reasons you want to make the 18, but my checkers are pretty well distributed to attack. He does have the four-point board, so maybe this makes sense. I don't know. But, yeah, that's a scary play to make. And it does not work out for me. I'm not ahead in the race, so I won't be leaving the anchor. I don't want to dump checkers behind. I don't really want to give up any points here. Which one is, like, the least impactful? Should I just give up the eight? I guess that makes sense. How do I play next roll if I get like a six or something though? This is the most flexible. But I feel like I just give the outfield. Maybe that's like a nice compromise since I have the 21 anyway. Okay, I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of like super comfortable rolls next time. I guess this is like nice to pop out there, but yeah. I, I guess what I'm getting at is that it doesn't, well, what should I do? Maybe I want another board point. Keep all these spares. Sure, we'll do that. Feel like I was out of sixes if I played the other way, but I mean it felt like he wasn't going to be able to give up the eighteen point, like at least on the next roll right away, you know, just because I gave up the mid. So maybe I still have some containment power there anyway. Is what made me feel like I should try that. All right, I'm going to keep working on my board. His position's super stiff, stiff. 
but fives fixes all of that. And we'll have to see if I have enough race and threat of shots and all that to play this one out. I'm not sure, really. Uh, 23 pips is a pretty easy racing pass. But there's still the contact of the midpoint and the strip six. This could be, I mean, I can't really follow up on it that well with uh, the made ace, unfortunately. But this feels like the contact should generally be good enough. Like, it's awkward. Like, his next roll, a lot of aces and things like that are just, yeah, I think I'm going to, well, no, no, no. I think I want to play it. I think I want to play it, yeah. So 6-1 can make the bar point, but I get a shot right away. Would, do I actually want to hit a 9 right now? I don't even know. I'm not ready. <laughs> so let's start points like that. Yeah, this makes it feel like a pass when it goes this way, I guess. I don't know. Still got work to clear all that. But a 6-1 was not like a very large slice of the potential pie, you know. 8 gets there. No such luck. Um, maybe I don't need to make the deuce urgently here since he's likely to just clean up. So I'll just make the points in order here and get a little erasing distribution going. <clears throat> Four one. Okay. Four two makes things a little bit awkward. Either he has to clear this seven or leave himself completely stripped out there. So I'm getting some like contact value out of this still. Give myself a little heat there. Uh, six has to come in, three slots there, and I'm kind of happy to run next time if I, that happens. Okay. Twos is a pretty good clearing roll, so I will have to play the single checker contact shortly. And hopefully I don't get pointed on. Okay, I can lose some gammons now. <laughs> Nine pips outside is like a little over 10% if he gets the close out somehow, which isn't so likely. So, I mean, it, fairly negligible gammons. But see, considering whether or not it's even worth doing, I mean, it has to be because I can still roll a set and just win or stay and get some contact that way. His distribution's pretty good. So I think he has to point. But I guess sixes isn't so scary. 53, 59. Like, he's still winning after double sixes, but I don't know. Just the fact that he could win a gammon makes it feel worth it to me. Hmm. Maybe the distribution's worth it, but he could also just take an extra checker off there and keep playing for the gammon, you know? I might not be able to stay forever. Oh, I don't get to here already. Okay. I would have liked to see that roll. There were a lot of shot levers here. That's not one of them, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Small lead for him again. Maybe I should stop bothering with the 15 away, 14 away stuff and just say close long match. <laughs> I'm gaining on him with time a little bit. That's nice. I spent a lot early. Uh, I'm getting back in this. Couple sets. Couple misses. No, not possible. All right. Don't see myself adjusting to the score very much here. 6-3, standard after that split to hit on the high point. The ace is not super clear to me, but 11-10 to 10 feels like it. Just don't like to be on like such an inviting point to be hit in the 20 necessarily. It's a little more dangerous split. When he's ahead in the race, maybe he doesn't really want to provoke, but I don't know. Yeah, the 24-23, to 23, though, it's just for whatever reason, we just don't like to have a checker on the 23 instead of the 24. It's just a better place. I guess it gives us sixes to play and stuff. It interacts with the eight point when it didn't before. Just does a lot of weird things. Okay, this is getting interesting. 
Maybe I should attack the slot instead, but I get to make the point and hit here, so it felt good, but I don't know. I don't like how it ended up. But I've got an interesting game. I've got the two anchors. I don't need to play a back game, but when this works, I've got a really strong prime too, so I think I'm going to start to think that way right away. Like it's not really trying to get into a back game. It's just... It goes both ways well. So I don't think I need to make this and stay primed. I think I can just send a checker back. We're still playing offense here, even though we have a 1,000 checkers back. He's going to hit me. Okay. Yep. Let's keep sending back. He can have a 1,000 back as well. The 6 can hit again, but he's getting really disconnected. I'm starting to like my position quite a bit more. Just got like a lot more potential in front here, I think. 4. Let's send another back. Sure. Threes. I can't imagine this is good for me. He gets to make the 20 as well. Okay, I think I like his position better. Uh, what do I want to do here? If I enter on the deuce and hit with the ace, then I just have blots everywhere. So maybe it's just wiser to hit with the already loose checker. I have one less blot. This might give him better sixes from the bar, though. Yeah, I can under he must have a positional advantage and everything like that. Why it just feels like too long of a game to even think about letting this go, but I probably should be thinking about it harder. Like I can just end up with three checkers on the roof and never make another anchor and all that. And I guess I'm just like holding for a double anchor or hoping for a back game that's poorly timed, but he has five to bring around. So I can just play offense. He can just miss me, I can make this and I can restrict his movement. I, I think I think there's too much that can happen here. A fan is pretty good. I don't think it's enough yet. Um, so it's like a thousand returns anyway. So I feel like my four is going to want to do this. Then my three is between making the 18 or the 21. Maybe the 21 gives me more options. But the 18 takes away like the six from the bar, which is not a thing right now. Okay, yeah. So let's just do this. I don't know. <laughs> Just gives me a six. Okay, four threes are awkward. Do I wanna, maybe I need another, a more advanced place. This is confusing, but I wanna do this. I feel a little disconnected. Maybe I should be taking the bar point here. Okay, the six is gonna hit out there. Oh, he gives up the five though. I don't, that he could regret. Uh, what else do I do with this? Maybe like that? I just don't know. They all feel pretty similar. Well, he gets to hit me and make the 20. Okay. I've got two anchors now, so I'm less concerned and happy to own the cube in this game, I guess. No, like, checkers completely out of play, but obviously I don't have any timing issues. Um... I think I should keep playing offense, but I could just make the 23 right now. That's pretty strong, too. Yeah, does it really happen, help that much to hit here and give up my midpoint? No, I think I'll just do that. I don't know. That's very confusing. Okay, that's really good for mobility for him. Yeah, his position's pretty stiff, though. Like, I think I'm not too far from doing very good things here. Let's go ahead and start playing wide open in the outfield. I'm happy with that. And I will have these three anchors out here for a while. So if he just if he gets to go out on blot hitting spree, I think probably it needs to come off the 23 and hit. Looks pretty strong here. But he could hit 20 to 10. He could hit twice. So does he want to just scoop up blots and try to buy time to get home or just play for the, the mobility play is just coming off the 23? It feels like I don't have much of a game plan if he just comes off the 23. So I kind of like that. Got a nice, fun, long game, too. Oh, he doesn't want to pick up another one. Okay. I mean, this to me, this checker on the midpoint represents mobility to me. Oh, maybe he just missed it or thought that the blocking point's better. I don't know. Lots of possibilities there. Yeah, I can actually still have some mobility issues here. Slotting the bars, yeah, very strong for him. If he makes that and I have all these, like, nine checkers locked up behind it, I can get in trouble for sure. I like bringing the blot into range to try to cover it, though. 
surprised you didn't do that. Shifting nine to seven looks very strong. Okay. But now I have enough time where like if I enter, I'm pretty happy with like this, like just abandoning the 21, I think, and playing the one, two. Um, does it make any more sense to hit loose on the deuce somehow? No, I think I should just pick my game and just do this if he wants to stop my. I don't know, though, like it's it's feels like usually just having another anchor option is very strong and giving this up is like this can be like massive mistake for me. Um, like there's, you don't have to choose to just play the, the one, two back game and you could keep it and play with this here too. But I don't know. So I get like confused by those and feel like I found my moment, but what could very easily happen here is I can just end up with like, uh, on the roof against with the one, two game now, instead of like the one, two, four, and that could just be like the end of it. I never get a chance to develop more, but on the flip side of that, Oh, yeah, I can end up still primed back there with all those checkers. That's a problem, too. So maybe I needed that to, like, not crack. But it is only... Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like it would have been better. See, it ate the deuce. Because I can see how this can go really poorly now. Like, crashing with these six checkers is a bummer. But it's recoverable, too. It's hard to get too many of them stacked on the ace, so I should be able to at least make points and then, like, later fill in backwards, you know? Yeah. So I'm in trouble here, but it's salvageable. All right. Six in has to be, and then the two. Yeah. And try to kill numbers. Find ways to not have to break more. Six out would be very nice now. Oof. That was really bad. And so I have one dead checker now. Two dead checkers now? Yeah. That's about as bad as it could have gone. <laughs> Hard to win from here, but I can still close my board with two che dead checkers, so we'll see. Yeah, maybe you should just be peeling when it's like this big of an advantage. You can win backgammons and stuff like that, you know? Uh, oh, maybe I should come off the back with one. Yeah, maximum mobility. I want to be ready to give up points when I need to, too. I guess I probably just need to keep these in this game, I don't think. Well, so now, like, twos are going to leave a double shot. So it's usually I'm thinking about, like, now is the time to take advantage of that, but maybe I'm just not ready enough anyway, you know? So I'm going to keep trying to spend maximum pips getting out and really slow down movement as much as possible. I think just like hold both anchors to that end. So like here, maybe I don't even want to come off one of them yet. Yeah, maybe I should just hold it. I'm going to try that. I don't know. Okay. Same double shot I was going to get no matter what. And now we have a two-point board to a one-point board. Huge advantage. I'm good to go. Got to hit every time. And hopefully not get hit. Uh, he's got seven checkers off too, so even once I close him, I've still got a lot of work to do. But, well, okay, sometimes I'm not supposed to play that wide open. Uh, let's just see more of the outfield. Yeah, I don't get as many returns on this shot, though. Okay, what, what reaches? One, two, nothing. Okay. So we'll do like, like this, and then like this maybe? interacting well but I I get a lot of single shots is the issue yeah uh, what is it it's a three or a seven three is good I'll take it all right it'd be cool if I made a point on him at some point yeah like that that's probably a good step in the right direction I don't know <laughs> sevens twos that's neither okay so, he's not in range. So maybe I want to do like four and six. I don't know. This is a lot of fly shots. Is that a good thing? Two, one, sure. Two, one would be good now. No such luck. In... 
pop out there and make this and let him hit with a deuce, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I get the double shot on that. I'm not a checkers in back there. Ouch, he hits. Okay. Uh, what gets there? This? Okay. This is fun. This is just going to be a forever game. Until I miss. Dang it. Okay, I think I need to make a blocking point, probably. Most of the time he's going to come do a bunch of shots. 5-4 deuce. There's a 5. Okay, still alive. Yeah, this is a builder for the 6, but maybe 17 to 14 is really good too. I don't know. This is a lot of shots. There we go. I like that. I don't know if I want to give up this back here. This isn't really doing me that much though. Maybe I should just be doing stuff like this. Getting things in range to try to close out. Ooh, I get a fan. Okay. 5-4. This doesn't make anything, does it? Can bring a builder to here. Yeah, I guess if he gets by is the issue, then I don't have anything to attack with anymore. So that could be bad. 3. Maybe blocking the 6. Eh, let's block the 6-6, six, six, I guess. Even though there's less of them here, it like helps me build on the next point, I think, too. So, Okay, we got a little bit to work with here now. Uh, making this is really strong now. Still get double shots if he pops out. Okay. I'm getting there. Oh, it gets so hard to figure this out, though. I only get a single shot. No, I can't be making that, I don't think. I think we can play like this, and maybe we get hit with the double shot a lot of the time, but feels like it should win the most. 5-4. Ugh. What is this? So I can still lose like a gammon and stuff if I play like this, but I don't know, whatever. Yep, that's <laughs> what I deserve. Uh, okay, really good contact though again. So fantastic. Uh, sixes and sevens. There we go. Right back in it. Easy peasy. Oh, I shook loose another blot this time. That's fun. Ugh. Okay, my board's finally ready. All right, the six and five, five. Do I want to be hit? Kinda. Yeah, let's recirculate. Okay, this is getting interesting. Yeah, I don't really have a line at the second blot yet, so I think I just have to close out and accept that. Seven off, but there's a big gap, so it's kind of like six or even five off. Uh, so my recube's already looking kind of okay. Maybe I'll just, but my distribution's bad. So I can get a checker off with good distribution, maybe I'll send it. Uh, this looks good. And I'm trailing in the match too? Yeah, okay. I don't know. It's probably a little early, would be my instinct, but I think it's also fine. Let's take a checker off. Ooh, 5-2 is very good for him. All right, I got my work cut out for me. So it hasn't worked out well when I've gone for these kind of early <laughs> in this match. <laughs> Getting punished every time. I don't. He might even have a cube already. I don't know. What do I have? I have nine checkers and he has eight checkers. Yes, I'm like a whole roll behind him. It has to have been a miss. I don't think it matters too much. The one point difference in the recube stuff. Like, So like he's still uh, seven checkers to seven checkers. So he's on lead roll. Yeah, this is still takeable. So I guess maybe it wasn't yet. I think this is still takeable. The thing is, I need all my sets to work to catch up. Aces work, twos do not, threes work. So I'm missing one of them. I don't really have any extra miss vig for him, but I, I think I think I can still play it. We'll see. Okay, that's pretty good. I might be able to cash without any risk too. Yeah. All right, eight points for me. Hooray. Where does that take me? It takes me to 14. Is seven away, 14 away? Cool. I probably will just leave the cube parked in the center there. Should I be so lucky? Unless I want to send the double five splits. <laughs> this is probably a very bad score to do that at. I can't continue the attack, so I think I'll start to try to make an advanced anchor and just have the winning race. 
this is like this is a pass in normal scores, so this feels like it could be strong enough. Oh, it sucks. The recube to four is not gonna be too bad. Hmm. Maybe it's long enough to get this in now. It's probably like a tiny cube, if anything. I don't know. Oh, he's going to pass it, though. Okay, if there's a chance that he's going to pass it, then it's a very good cube. But I think he probably is supposed to play that out for the recube thing, and I'm not even sure I'm supposed to send it. So what is this? This is 6 away, 14 away now? Okay. And I get an anchor. I get to play a simple game. That's exactly what I like to do with a huge match lead. And let's hope we can develop a little bit. Nope. Got to leave a shot. Threes are a little duplicated. Yeah, I don't want to leave two shots and hit loose, I guess. So I think this is better. Oh, that's a fun way to do it. I'm still okay with my anchor, though. You can get cubes in with this strong of a board, even against my board. Like, I might... You still got, like, the attacking closeout threat. I think I can still take it, since he still has two back. Not a ton of material. Um... Well, maybe I should th rethink this at the score, though, because there are gammons here. But I, I think I'm going to play this out. It's just too nice to park on this cube and not so great to attack, and I don't know. If I fan a lot, I'll regret it. Hmm. It's a weird sixes. Maybe you should just make the eight here. I don't have enough offense to, like, make him need the 20, so I think he should just be leaving. Um, but yeah, like this is the kind of position, exactly what I did not want to get into. Like this feels very nice to pass at this score. Like I just have too far behind and I'm like scared to hit even when I enter and get a chance to do that. And so maybe it was a pass. Maybe it was a pass. I just want to enter and have a bar point holding game. That's all I ask for. I guess he can link with the eight. Yeah. And bring one down if you wanted. Aces are well duplicated this way. I guess I would get to hit two and make a point. Yep, he's just looking for closeout. I have regrets. All of my outfield shots are looking good now, though. Okay. Four points for you. <laughs> what is that's going to take it to ten away, right? Six away, ten away. You gotta speed this match along. 21's too long. <laughs> so give him some shots at Kevin's. <laughs> I do feel like my clock's gonna be enough now, though. I've gotten to there. Maybe I'll just win this somehow. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't think he needs to do anything special to win the gammon. Just needs to not get hit. So I would go for max safety. Of course, there's like no backgammons when it's just a single checker in the air. Though that has happened to me once in my life. <laughs> I remember trying to tell Carter about it, about how unlucky it was. And he was like, yeah, that happens to everyone. <laughs> I was like, I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how to calculate the odds of that. Someone should figure that out. How often you lose a backgammon when you have one checker closed out. I don't think it, like, measures on, uh... Like, if I looked at the backgammon chances position, like, it probably looks like zero still. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's hard to get there. Uh, okay, there's some wins here with a four. Yes! There we go. These are really fun to play. Like, I really enjoy trying to figure these out. Um, like, you just have to, like, kind of purely make some points and, I don't know, how to roll this. It's, it's like, a lot better off than you would think, though. Like, you have very strong containment with these points in the outfield and everything. It's, like, a little counterintuitive in some way to me, or it had been earlier. This is not great. I guess everything should probably stay... Well, I'm going to save more gammons if I bring this down, so maybe I should do that. Could also just come from the 21 all the way. This is tricky. I think I'll play like that. So I'm going to get the double shot. Obviously making the three point is not what I wanted either. So it's not really going my way. 
But it might be enough already to like save a lot of gammons even if I miss. Yeah, probably reduce his shots to advance one closer now. If that's what he's thinking about. Though there does seem to be some double three duplication. No, no, no. I mean, the thing about it, like, even if the shots are the same or really close or something like that, like, I know that he's going to get the safety to more, too, when he plays to the nine. So it feels like, like, without thinking about it, I'd want to do that pretty quickly. Um, fours. Okay. I think, what can I do now? I think I can't afford to not move a bunch of pips outside. So I'm going to go like that. And I'll still play for the little bit of, like, maybe he gets a small roll and I get to hit it. And also, he can't take a checker off with that because, you know, but... We're hoping now that that was enough to save the gammon, to save two points. Would have been more fun to win. Uh, three's a crossover. What do I have? I have six, seven crossovers. So he's actually on lead roll. Like, I think I need to get lucky to get off this gammon. Uh, if he misses with an ace, I've done it. Four, I'll take all the crossovers, I think. I'm not sure I'm actually maximizing for my sets that I'm gonna likely need here. Do fours, do, fours don't work from there. Does that mean I should do it like this? Then like two one doesn't, or three one? A whole bunch of stuff doesn't work from there. So I should probably do this. I need him to roll an ace anyway. Okay, did not save the gammon. Six away, 10 away. Carrying on. Probably just split with this. I get pointed on. Bummer. There will be some score adjustment here. Do I want to... Yeah, let's leave the fly shot. I could come up and provoke. I'm going to get double hit a lot if I do that. It's probably fine. I don't know. Both seem to have their merit. But then when I get hit once, you know, I have a lot of chances to make an anchor. This is nice building, and it provokes a little less. So I think both seem quite reasonable to me. I like how this kind of split his efforts on that roll, too. Six away, ten away. I need to be careful about sending the cube. The recubes are going to be really potent. Um, but this feels like at normal score, this would be leading to a lot of cubes. I think this is still strong enough. When he makes the 24 and I'm threatening to prime and make the anchor and everything, like, this feels like a pretty dominant advantage. And so I think, like, it's not clear to me that he should take this at a normal score. Even though I haven't, like, cashed in on my threats necessarily like I guess there probably is some sort of whiffing role here but my aces threes and sixes make this and the four appear it feels like most of the time I'm going to do both yeah so I don't fault the pass there don't know for sure five away ten away all right six five can just get the safety let's do it that way Simple game for me with the lead. All right, can't escape, but I can make a point. That's a nice little bit of development. So I have the lead in the contact game now too, and the race. So everything like a little bit going my way. A little bit more build mobility being stepped up to as well. Threes. Ooh, I really want to make the four-point board. I don't think I can do that here, though. I think I should just play really normal. And this is, like, so much in the way anyway. Like, there's just not enough value in leaving a shot. And I have a pretty strong advantage here. I think I will still wait to run before I send a cube a lot of the time. I'll go for a little more mobility here, too. I don't mind getting loose hit up front here, seeing a little more of the outfield. This feels very strong. Ooh, the loose hit feels like a lot. I don't know if you can, like, really justify that, because this is pretty devastating when I hit back. Five away, ten away. I still want to send this, I think. I mean, he doesn't want to pass and let me get to four away, that's for sure, but this is bad. Just run with the six, hit with the deuce. I have the better board. I have him primed on the 23. He can't afford to split. It's like very ugly. I'm sending it. 
I don't like. I mean, it could be wrong, but I, like, this is the moon I'm in today. I just want to give them like this doesn't feel like a fun decision to make, and so even if it's wrong, like I kind of want to send it, and it's gonna feel good when it works out for me. Four points could get me to Crawford and all this stuff, so making some feelings decisions today. <laughs> Yeah, it's like one of those without getting like too much into it. Like this just I know I would not like talking myself into this take. All right, four away, ten away. Here we go. Big lead, but I still have to fight for high points in the opening. Three Oh, the six is confusing. Seems like way too much to play down, isn't it? And really loose to give up my anchor. I guess the fours are just like massively duplicated, but I like having an advanced anchor slotted or something back here, you know, a split back here instead of just the ace point. I think this is probably fine. This is probably the one. All right, he doesn't have a better board yet, so we'll go ahead and do that and get another cover in range. It's going to hit back, and most of my numbers are going to fight for the five point again. Uh, yep, yeah, that one included, though I could just make a point, but I have more checkers back now, so I just. Maybe I'm like giving up a few too many gammons with plays like this, but. I don't care. <laughs> Four away, ten away. All right, shaping up. Nicely with the positional advantage. I still have more checkers back, so he's got that. He's got the race. And I have this massive lead that I can't really have too much fun with the cube at. So I've got work to do. Four away, ten away, I think it goes back to, like, mostly it's far enough out that you have to be more careful than normal scores about sending. But even though the four points gets me perfectly to a match win. But some of that gammon influence will matter. It's just like, wow. I think there's enough wins where he just hopes for a recube too much here. It's like a little too much to send it. 6-5. Still can't do anything about the back checkers, but we can continue the attack. Ouch. Yeah, breaking the 8 was not fun, but really only hurts when, like, on a doubles roll like this. So I need to enter and clean up a little bit. Making the bar of the 8 would be very nice. 4... I guess it's worth, is it worth giving up the midpoint? I actually don't know. I guess I'd rather have him come off his anchor here. And I like desperately need some mobility too, so maybe I should just come out. I think I have to play loose. This feels pretty wide open. I could clean up a blot, but I just, I feel like I need all this. Um, and I think I still, with the better board, um, this feels very playable for me. I, I don't mind the cube because, like, when it goes his way, there could be a lot of gammons, you know? It's hard to imagine the role that just, like, decides this, though. Like, a double hit, maybe I'm still okay. If he's just going to let me play, too. Well, maybe this is pretty bad for me in that sense. Like, that I don't have... I can just be primed back here. But so can he. The fours are pretty good to hit now. But I threaten to make a prime of my own. So I'm hoping for something to step up. Oh, he's going to lose hit. Okay. Yeah, I guess he really doesn't want me to cover there. So it might have been important enough. Double fours is great. Wow. It's like confusing how to play, though. You can make a five prime as well. But, I mean, you just have to hit, I guess. Hit making the bar point against this structure, just very strong. And then I don't know what to do with the last two exactly. It is tempting to try to get the extra fans, though. So, so I don't know. It looks like when you don't make the five point, like the hits on the deuce are just a little more potent, too. So I guess there is real thought, too. But I'll have two in the air. So yeah, I think I think you just do this. I could use a deuce. No such luck. All right, maybe I'm going to lose a gamut again. I have the ace point, though, so I can always win. I feel good about this one. Let's try to make the five along with it. He will be making the five. 
<laughs> okay, this is going poorly very quickly. The couple that I've just like taken have been kind of like this. It's funny. A few where things just like spiraled very quickly out of control. Right, he doesn't have to think about double sixes at all if he puts a checker eight to seven. I've never really thought about that before. Maybe that's like a nice strategy to not have to worry about big sets. All right. Yeah, being on the board moving is probably good. I need to get off backgammons. A backgammon would be a real bummer. We'd be even in the match then. Yeah, let's not do that. I am still planning on winning. That's the real the real plan here. Oof. I don't think I need to go this roll, but I really need to be thinking about leaving. Probably like next one. Are his but his shots ah oh, his threes are so much worse if I stay. I think I'm gonna have to stay another one. I'm so afraid. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the best distribution out here is. Maybe I could take a crossover. Okay, rewarded with the double shot. And I get to hit it. And let's go ahead and slot the back. Okay. I get to hit that right away, too. And now I have two checkers back. I hope he doesn't anchor. He does anchor. I think I still want a six prime at first, and then I have to figure out what my strategy is from there. Uh, maybe I'm like already ready to trap him here. Actually, this is pretty good setup for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and make this and not get hit when he pops out with the four. If we can close two out, then we're doing great. Am I ever recubing this? I think I want to make this before I hit the extra checker. Is that true? I guess that's for sure. He doesn't immediately get by if he enters. And I have so many ways to hit it. And, but it's probably easier to follow up on the, if he hits with a single checker with the three. So I guess I'll just put them both up. I don't know. Like this feels like I have more second chances. All right. Everything's pretty well placed up there. I want to keep that blocking point. All right. He's fighting a little too hard for this three point. I don't like it. There we go. I need to get her in range of attacking on the ace, try to prevent that. Only 11s to cover, but I just need him to like miss a couple times. There we go. We got that. What is going on? If I double him, he has to pass to two away, ten away. Or he can take and ship it back to eight and threaten to go to, so his gain side is just going to be four away, two away, which is still pretty good for me, which is like 33%-ish, 32, something like that. So, so he risks the two away, ten away, which is not good. What is uh, two away seven away is kind of like one away five away. So how much worse is two away ten away? Say it's like one away seven away. They're probably like under ten percent. Let's say he's risking ten percent to gain thirty three, something like that. Uh, wait, no, to gain he goes to sixty six. So he's gaining fifty six or something like that. So ten over sixty six. Take another half of that fifteen. So it's like in the teens. Yeah, probably maybe like 10 to 15 percent or something like that. Does it? So I know this is like a money pass, but is it that bad of a money pass? Since I might not cover two, probably not yet. Maybe I should just go ahead and do that first. Start there. Now I'm still confused. <laughs> this feels like a hard decision now. Sure, I don't know. Let's send it.
I guess I certainly could have had a bunch of like free decisions on the way. Maybe the PR play is to get to like where I'm bearing off first. <laughs> yeah, if he passes, that's a bad play for my PR too, I guess. Okay, so he's decided he's playing it out. I don't know. That's why I sent it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking, of course. I guess there's no rush. Let's play like that. I don't even know if that's actually how I want like to have him stack up here. And I kind of just want an ace or a deuce. Sure, a deuce. Sixes leaves a shot if I do it that way. It leaves a shot the other way. This is all fine, I think. Six five is not great. Okay, perfect distribution. And I can bear off really aggressively too, since he has no board to punish. And shot is the same when he has two in the air. All right, I think it worked. I think we want to peel from the rear now, like this. This is safer long term. I think I did it. Let's see. I think we can just start being safe now, right? If he rolls sixes, then he still has like two, four, and then eight. Yeah, I'm probably still on lead roll. So I think I'm at the point where I should start to look for maximum safety. Um, doesn't really help me to get a roll closer there either. So I'll do that. Ooh, he's being stubborn here. He insists on being here for a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he got it. This would be a hell of a way to lose the game. <laughs> I'm prepared. Good job if you get this one to take it to four-way, two-way. <laughs> He's got to figure out how to contain me, too. It's pretty brutal. Five checkers left for me to six for him, and I'm on the ace, and he's on the deuce, and all this. Like, it should be still fine. That's going to go to the 12. He can't reach. I hop past and win, probably, right? Just got to get nine past. Let's roll bigger than nine. Oh, or I'll just come to a double shot. <laughs> oh, no, I can see how it happens now. What a sweat. Ooh, that's pretty good. Wait, I hit too? I think it's actually good to hit there. Probably, oh man. What is this? Have to play that way. Lots of numbers that hit. That's one of them. Oh, I thought I was home free. And he's got a two-point board now. I don't even know if that's better. Maybe you'd rather like have the ace recirculate and just have more checkers to keep me going there. I don't It should help his bear off. So it's probably an improvement that way. Yeah, this feels like it's going like as well as it can go for him. Uh, there's no way to get them both to safety. So yeah, he'll do this. Fours. Okay, that should do it. I survived. On to the round of four. 32 players left. And we'll see if I had any of my score shenanigans right or not. I think I will start to make the videos and uh, after this. That should be fun. Okay. 639, I probably played like a little, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But good enough, I guess, with all that. Still, I'd like to be playing better than I've been doing lately. So we'll see. And I'm excited to review this one. And good match to Alico. And I'll see you guys again soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.